What's up? This is Baba. You're in Brooklyn, New York. I want to welcome you, and I want to show you how someone from Stockholm, when they come to New York, this is where they move to. As I start to groove to these lyrics and times, I start to formulate with rhymes. Now you see, we're in a place, it's like a compartment. We're in a really, truly underground apartment. You see, when you want to be an artist in New York City, it's not always pretty. Look, it's kind of gritty. Look at the starts to rust and starts to move like clay as I start to let my words spray like a spray can artist. See, life can be some of the hardest challenges but now come into this place you got to move and realize there's not a lot of space because you have to find space inside your mind I hit my head one time because there's pipes all around as I start to freestyle and surround myself I can't even stand up I have to bend down because I'm not in Stocktown I'm in New York City Brooklyn town as I look all around you see this is where Jacob lives he used to live in Stockholm in a nice place with high ceilings but now he's in Brooklyn with high feelings revealing as he starts to see he starts to do his photography I start to feel free Free as an MC who always drops poetry any moment, any time. I look around and start to divine like a bed. I freestyle off the head, then I take a nap. Then I activate and start to rap, it's a trap. I start to look around and say, how can I keep my mind intact? It's like there's no space. I'm, I feel like I'm surrounded and trapped. Start to walk through and look at lamps. So I take a walk along the path, start to move and groove as I start to calculate like I'm holding a staff, but I'm not. I just laugh and celebrate as I walk into the garden. I don't want to step on anything, but I'll step slowly and look at these beautiful flowers. Hey, there's a dog over there. I'm trying to do my thing. Can you keep it quiet? Hey. The dog wants to get down, he wants to make a riot, but his sounds barking very loud. But I take a look at the flower and just take a smell. Ah. Pani B5 MC. Victories like 
God is thank you for coming tonight to support not only me, not only me, but your local MCs. You know what I'm saying? That's how hip hop will stay strong. You need people like this man right here, my man Tower. Japan has hot DJs, right? Thank y'all for being hip hop lovers. You are the shit. Yes, each country, they love their country so much that leads to competition and conflict and war, you know what I'm saying? It's not like hate. We love our own country, therefore love turns into hate. So we have to look over the differences and look for the common bond to really understand each other. Okay, here we go. <laughs> What's up, my name is Shingo Two, representing the Terracotta Troop Interground, representing Tokyo and Berkeley, California. Uh, what I do is that uh, I make music, I write music, I write lyrics, I kick raps, I try to be an artiste. Hey Shingo, why are you scared? Yeah, what's well, crazy, right? Like, uh, you can't see UFOs through binoculars. Like somehow they avoid the lens. And then I saw that in a UFO documentary a long time after that, and that's when I really knew what I was, that, that it was some, something different, you know. Basically, it, it avoids all oh, this type of lens, the mass. I mean, at first we, we thought it was helicopters or something, but it started moving like this, you know what I mean? There goes that bus. I'm just kidding. I mean, I mean, it's not, it's, it's nothing, you know, known to the public, uh, at least to the mass. And then what's crazy, crazier than that, like, I had one friend uh, who was in Alaska at the same time frame, about the same age, and she had the exact same experience, like, they're all in the balcony and they all saw the UFOs. Crazy, huh? When I was in uh, Tanzania, yeah, it's crazy. Like we were all standing in the balcony and then we saw like several of them. The whole sky just kind of kept moving horizontally in all kinds of different angles. <laughs> you thought you were coming for practicing, huh? It's crazy. Yeah, we got about the same amount of time to cover the same distance, but it should be faster. Okay, let's, let's hit it. I'm doing bad. 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 I'm do
Yeah. General Ho back up in the place once again. Today me go and speak the truth. The one and only word that is more important than love. Peace. Peace, me brethren. People standing, coming up to me, talking about, Oh, man, he did this to me, man. He must be born in a man. Please, man, we can't eat it. We can't eat it. We can't eat it. Fuck that! Me I say peace, boy! We have to talk to one another! Brother! Brother, hey! Wake up! What is love? Peace is the word! Me I tell you this, yo! Like, this is the Gillespie who said, Bless! Respect! I only use two mighties because when I talk about queens, I have to use at least three. Sometimes I use four or five. And I would say mighty, 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 or mighty, 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 mighty queens. You know what I'm saying? Damn, I did it. <laughs> dummy, dumb, dumb. You got your No, the photos. Oh, uh, Africa. Right. And all the different spots. Like I said, we could do it like kind of a website but interactive. See, I had a, um, Dag, I forgot a lot of stuff. I had an atlas, too. Oh, yeah. So we could, uh, but we could get a map off the net if you want to log on. A reformed host or something. I'm the worst host in the world. I'm the worst, I'm the everything in the world. Craziest DJ. <laughs> right now, I'm looking for a map of Africa, and I'm trying to break it down so that we have little facts Things people might know, might not know. Never been to Africa. I want to go, you know, check it out. I'm just trying to do like a real nice, colorful, entertaining cover and try to drop a little knowledge at the same time. You know what I mean? I make beats, I write some songs. Just drink the spoon just now. Damn, I'm gonna take some more of them candies before I leave. Cause every time I come, it looks fully replenished. Like, you stay it up, like that's what I'm saying. Like, y'all don't be having a candy shortage or anything. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, why well, I feel somebody staring at me? I got a big ass <laughs> camera. <laughs> this is what Hank Shockley, the famous producer of Public Enemy and many Def Jam greats, said to me. I like how you moved the camera in because you knew it was going to be some deep shit. When it comes to hip hop, it's a few things MCs must always do. One of them is you must always say your name in your rhymes. I haven't thought of a title yet. Ain't that sick? I haven't thought of a title of my own song, but you know, I just came up with the hook right now. So we're going to see how we're going to make this happen. I'm going to talk to the producer. You know, we're gonna collab or we're gonna put our two heads together and see what we come up with. Very messy. It's screenplay. You know. No steal, no steal, no steal. Yeah. It's good that when I write, I'm the only one that can read it. I'm really talking a lot of shit. It don't get no simpler <laughs> than that. You know, that the braggadocious lyrics, you know, most cats don't wanna say that they're doing. But I'm telling you, you know, I'm popping a lot of shit. So. It's part of hip-hop, it's all hip-hop. A lot of metaphors. See me, nigga? Eh, 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 eh. Yeah, I sit down and record my shit. I'm a lazy motherfucker. You ever seen that Chris Rock sketch when he was like, there's niggas and there's black people? Right. And the niggas be fucking it up for the black people? Right. Right. Brothers, come support the grand opener of the club. <laughs> But the niggas closed the club down the first day. <laughs> <laughs> right. A lot of truth for that. Yeah, there's a whole lot of things. I'm not going to say no more bad about my people because Chris Rock said it best. <laughs> Three pounds overweight when I'm toting the gun. <laughs> what the fuck's up? What you want to do, y'all? <laughs> Luxury cars. I got a heated seat. Woo! I like how I ended it. I might have to write that down. 
second of all, you gotta rep where you from. That's why I wrote Hollis, Queens, New York City. harmonies. And I just do, I can do songs with it, you know. I would definitely love to spread this art of fader music. It's basically a keyboard, but instead of hitting a key, just fader. But, you know what I mean? And then it has a row of scale. It's on the music scale, but it's all in one row. No black or white keys. So it's definitely easy to play in scale on top of a you know, system. So on the actual equipment, I'll have major minor changes key shifts, pitch shifts, so it accommodates any, any type of music, you know, so you can play improvisation or any, any kind. Basically, these are like the basic phonic alphabets. For Japanese, then you can always convert these into uh, Chinese characters. They're you know, called kanji. This kanji. Leaves and stuff, you know, they go back to the ground and then, you know, make the soil a lot more richer. And if you think about all the streets covered in concrete, they're never gonna see the sun again, you know. That's a shame. Breathe life in the dead space, blow away your clouds of doubt. New territory, we determine to be. Everything the safe haven is supposed to be. Now it might seem distant, but the time is near. When our thoughts take off, split the atmosphere. Pure sound waves travel semi infinitely. Plus, I see you there, oh, most definitely. Cause the beat plus the melody makes me speak of L O V E eloquently, so evidently. Check. うん、言葉では難しいけど。なんか最後ほら母の日に関連しあげるように地球にも関連しゃ。ねえ。うん。あ、じゃあ<笑><笑><笑> 
All right, good afternoon. You're on the Mothership Connection. Mark Pollard here. We've got uh, an interview with Brad Stroud about 3 o'clock. He's heading up from Melbourne to perform with DJ J Red at the Hope Town. Hi, Jack. Is what you want to listen out for. From Sydney, Australia. I'm from Melbourne, Australia. 500 yeah. k's the other way. Yeah. But we're connecting. We're going to rip shit for you tonight. We should have Hijack and DJ Frenzy up as well. But uh, we're going to kick it off with Canon Com, and this track is called Thugged Out Since Cub Scouts. You're on to SCR. And um, basically, we're going to fuck shit up. Am I right? I'm too right, man. Let's just have a little warm up, yeah? The world's largest island, in the alliance's mastermind And find me in a park rhyming with a broken violin Trying to find where my mind went Devising plans and that to get the hands to clap Your man can rap but when I diss he wouldn't answer back It's great to see chicks in lotion by the Pacific Ocean Sipping potion with a spliff to smoking A bit of joking doesn't go astray I'm gonna stay cause I know one day that these flows Is gonna go on stage An island built with a combination of invasions Convicts, conflicts, tall stories, exaggerations A generation evaporating brain cells Doing raw at school and courts till we all end up in the same cell Ah, Uga. We're here to entertain. We're not here to talk about the fucking struggle or any shit like that because most of these people are talking shit. I'm not shopping for a record deal, so basically, uh, being on an independent label, I can say what the hell I like. Getting retarded when I'm spitting hard hitting with every rendition So sit back and listen Whether you're in your kitchen or in the laundromat I keep it hardcore as Jack Crack your jaw with raps In fact you falling back whenever I freak this I got uniqueness I'm breaking speakers I'm mutilating MCs when I be freaking Hey, can't <laughs> <laughs> We're not faking the funk We are, we are being ourselves we are talking about real life scenarios and we're doing it in our own tongue. Basically, you hear someone talk, that's how they should rhyme. Do you ever get on? When they're trying to catch me, get burnt by a bag of one at a time, they're trying to fly me up and ride me in a taxi. I see our bus, I got the economy, your wife will be my property, you can come fuck it properly. Ah, who got? Ah, who got? You see? Drop it up, fly on the front track, I'll take care of you. We've done it, and they can't do it now. They sound too Australian. Like, duh, what the fuck are we meant to sound like? What, what's the good in me talking about the high life and this and that and bling bling and cars or, or <laughs> whatever bling. when I'm driving a bloody, a, a broke down ute and I'm struggling to pay rent? So when you pick up a Brad Strutt record, you know it's the real deal. It's Brad Strutt, the man. The man, the man. Bring on the eyes, fresh sweet. Fill up the esky. Let's get the esky. Let's get the like a gold one. I'm white in the doors up. You fall down, especially when I fall time. Do you want to sell 150,000 records via the uh, a marketing machine thrusting in, thrusting it into people's faces and ma and screaming "Buy me, buy me"? Or do you want to sell 1,500 records? In, in, a, in a more subliminal way going out via community radio shows and getting those 1,500 people like that, gathering them as a listener in the real way of hip-hop. But at the same time, I wouldn't mind going platinum and buying a dope Corvette. Same here. Yeah, I'd love to live large, man. Cool. Once you get back, yeah? Holy shit! You wanna see someone much yeah. With a back bang, with a boogie and a back bang Embarrass all these rappers till they have to change their name You know who to blame, neighbors complain Same suspects, just the people want the rage They need the same for Hijack to me, man, he's like basically one of the fiercest young cats coming up in the game in Australia. I respect talent and I respect uh, raw energy and honesty. I keep saying that word, honesty. And this kid's got the goods. I don't even know what it means. I means I get the ladies out of the jeans. Get the girlies with the big hooters under my dunas. I bring the thunder to ya. Forget it. Check it. Fuck it. That's the radio edit. Oh, shit. <laughs> there you go, Hijack. You can check uh, him Friday night at the Hope Town. That's right. Bring your stinking asses through. You done? That's right. You done? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, you're on the mothership. Welcome to Bowling Baba. The man. Oh. You wanna do it like that? That's how we do it in Brooklyn when we're just walking down the street. Never get bored again, cause yo, we keep it hyper. The name is Miser, the lyrical supervisor. And on my left, my man to the left of me. My man Baba got more game than a referee. Peace. <laughs> What's up, Jordan? Good yeah, to see you. Long time, man. Yeah. Do you have an instrument on you? Yes, I do. Always. We can only hope to make peace with it. I think.
There you go. Just, you know, communication. I think that's one of the beautiful things about New York City is that, you know, pe people are very open here. And, like, you know, it's, it's the kind of thing where people always have this vision of New York City being, you know, a stressful place. And it's actually like a small town. You know, you end up really knowing a lot of people. And, and the artistic community is actually, in that way, very supportive. And people are pretty open, which is, you know, which is wonderful. Hello. How are you doing today? Good. What's your name? Bobby. Bobby? Yes. My name's Baba. Styling in terms of lyrics as I start to move and the place I start to creep as you lay back on the Jeep. Oh, oh you yeah. got a red shirt, I'm far from weak as I start to flow. I watch your head bop, a freestyle hip hop, back to bebop. Whatever needs to happen, I grab thoughts and jump on the bike and start rapping at different <laughs> speeds. He starts laughing and it makes me know I'm doing something right as I start to MC. This poetry flowing free out me, never lonely. He gives me a hand, gives me some dap. Yeah. The place to be, it's like that. So you need to be in here doing that thing, making it all up. Okay, sounds good. All right, all right. Let's see. Welcome to the bulletin board where we find our information. A sublet for one bedroom. I start to think it's where we try to find where we can get some headroom as I start to speak. What are you doing right now today? I'm trying to sublet my apartment. She's trying to sublet her place, trying to give some space. Give me five words. Living in a city, being lonely. So let's see. Traveling from Chicago, arriving in New York City, living in the city where sometimes it's gritty, sometimes the sky isn't pretty, sometimes you feel alone, feeling lonely. How can we feel it? How can you have the capacity to make it through life so we stay strong and try to be creative? And sometimes you have to make changes so we start to find people that we can connect with, select with, and I try to see what we can do. We try to find a crew that can elevate us, innovate us, maybe celebrate us so we can take some moment like we're eating at Bliss and raise some consciousness with each word we drop that uplifts and take time to shift as I start to speak. What's your name again? Jean. Her name is Jean from the Jean Pool. I rock in the place and sometimes people dream to be cool here at Bedford. But it's not really about being cool or hip. It's about have something to say. Maybe write a novel one day. Be creative and stay. June 1st, that's the date. So as we start to flow, raise the consciousness so we can understand each other to discover that's what we need to do to treat each other as sister and brother. Yeah, you're yeah. awesome. Thank you. Thanks. All right, Jean. Good luck. Good luck. What's your name? My name is Baba. Baba? Yes. Cool. It's the most dangerous thing in Brooklyn, man. It's these pipes. Careful. I don't know what to do. This way we're filming our next music video. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Hey, it's camera on your cheek, motherfucker. <laughs>